and Josh will be here tonight. We're back to a new Minecraft stream. And if you missed the last one, go and check it out. And we are beginning a hardcore series. Yes. Hardcore mode is finally in Minecraft Bedrock. As of right now, the previews. Only through the previews as of right now. And as what it says here, you can't respawn if you die. Good luck. You'll need it. And I need to figure out where. Come on. All right. To turn on the um. I think it's right here, right? Yeah, it's down here. Make sure I turn. I always forget that the cell coordinates is in this section. You get one life. I'm pointing two fingers. You get one life. That's it. In hardcore mode. If you fail. Game over. Let's hope that we get a good spawn here. I want to have a good spawn. A good way to start off this new series. On hardcore mode on bedrock. Of course. Of course. We're in a snow biome. <laughs> the one place. The one place I was so hoping that we would not spawn in. <laughs> the one place I was really hoping we would not spawn in. And we spawn in. We spawn in a snow biome. <laughs> this was the one place I did not want to spawn in. And yet we have spawned inside. I'll take these with me. You never know, I might need them eventually. Course, it's gonna have to get stuck in the tree. Okay, I'm gonna make an axe and a pickaxe. There's monsters over there. Yes, there's cobblestone, but there's monsters, and hardcore mode is the hard difficulty. So, I would just suggest I keep it safe. Okay, there's a sword. Axe, axe, shovel. Okay, we got stone tools. I want to make sure I get some furnaces. I'll get two. I would be lucky to find a village. <laughs> Okay, 
Yeah, I would be lucky to find a village. Oh, there's animals. But it's just too risky. <laughs> it's too risky right now. Just too risky, especially with no armor and no food. I mean, I do know that there is a pig down there, but I don't want to risk it. Again, we get one life in hardcore. We can't respawn, or well, you respawn, but as a spectator, you're in spectator mode, and obviously you stay in spectator mode unless if you delete the world. And of course, when you're a spectator, you can't really do anything besides just fly around. So that's why I want to try to avoid that as much as possible. I want to try to avoid that as much as we can. I'm sorry, pig. But... It's desperate. <laughs> Again, this is one of my least favorite ways to sp spawn when you're making a new world. <laughs> this is one of my least favorite areas to spawn in. Okay, I can tell we are in an area for an ancient city. Just because high mountains, tall mountains, that always means an ancient city underneath. And I am not going there yet. <laughs> you think I'm crazy. You think I'd be crazy to go into an ancient city unprepared. Especially in hardcore. Especially in hardcore mode. I am not going to risk getting killed this early on. No way. Not gonna happen. I'm gonna have to eat this raw pork chop. I'm gonna have to eat this raw pork chop for right now. I know jumping or sprinting is a bad idea. When it comes to having no food. Much coal. I'll take as much coal as we get. And as we find. I'll be happy with for what the amount of coal that we get. Is there a village nearby? Because there's wood and path. Please don't crash. Oh, that was laggy. Okay. I was worried it was going to crash for a sec. Yeah, is there a village, though? Thought I heard some villagers working there on one of their, some of their stations. Oh, there's a polar bear. Oh, there's a polar bear. And it has a baby. Run. <laughs> Run. That's all I would just say. Run. When there's a mama b polar bear, or where there's a polar bear with a baby, just run. Just run. 
Here's some pumpkins. We could turn in, turn these into sage so we can actually grow more pumpkins. See what I mean? I hear I hear some workstations. I can't at least that's what I heard. Either it's just either it's that or just me and this this with us in the snow. Yeah, that is deep. <laughs> That goes deep, and I can only suggest that that goes into an ancient city. <laughs> Since we're in these types of mountains. And you know, these types of mountains lead to an ancient city. So I'm not going to risk. I am not going to take the risk going into an ancient city with no armor <laughs> and stone tools. I'm just not having that. Okay, there's a village over there. There's a village over there. But again, I'm just not going to take that risk. You know, I could save the coordinates. <clears throat> yeah. I could save the coordinates. That will be a better idea. Because I may go far away from this area right here. Wherever I decide to build my base. So, I could always come back to this area. If I just save the coordinates. So I will know where it is. Okay, it's getting night time. We need to really hurry. Especially because I am not ready to face the night time. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. I'm not ready. Plus, and really because I have no armor. That's a big thing. I have no armor. So, of course I'm not ready to face any monsters yet. Okay, I hope I hope whoever lives in this house doesn't mind that I was sleeping in his bed. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Emeralds. I'll actually leave the snowballs here. But yeah. I'll take days with me. I'm sorry to whoever owns this house, but <laughs> I'm sorry to whoever who owns it, but I want to take these. I could just say that I'm borrowing, right? I could just say, like on SpongeBob, how we're borrowing, you know, borrowing without, or taking it without permission, aka borrowing. <laughs> you know, permission, permission. You can get anything you want, anytime. Before you bring it back, before it's messed. This is going to be stupid, but I need this iron golem. I need this iron golem. I know, it's risky. It's, it's horrible, but... This is an easy way to get iron. This is going to probably cost... This is risky, especially when, if we die, we'll respawn as a spectator. Okay, if he comes over here, this would actually be pretty good. No matter if I do. No, please come back over here. Hit him. Okay. I hope there's just one iron golem here. I'm so sorry, iron golem. I'm so sorry to this village. I'm so sorry to the iron golem, and I'm so sorry to this village for taking out your iron golem. Their only protection. <laughs> but I needed... I needed the iron. I needed the iron. Again, I'm so sorry for this village. But it's either me or them. Right? And I'm sorry, but I'm going to need to take some of these seeds. Here. Keep the change. And by what I mean by keep the change, I mean keep the 
actual weight. I just need the seeds. <laughs> we just need the seeds of it. Just gonna have to take whoever's bed. <laughs> You know, I may want to take some snow, just in case if I want to build, like, a snow golem. Here, I'll place some back. Because you really just need two. Maybe I want two snow golems. Right, maybe I want to have two snow golems. Thank you for the blast furnace. Ooh, yo yeah, yeah, yeah. That is deep. <laughs> this is deep. I don't, I don't even see the bottom of it. <laughs> I, I can't even see the bottom. It looks like it just goes on though. That definitely, without a doubt, has to go to the or deep dark territory. Without a doubt, that has to go into deep dark territory. And like I've mentioned, I am not going there yet. Not for a long time. Because I would like to be prepared and not die so easily. You know? I would like to not die so easily in the ancient city. Especially with us being able to take so little hits before you get okay there's an igloo over there watch it not have a basement though right watch it not have a basement how shocking would it be to not have a basement i mean i can probably predict it right I can be like the Simpsons. I can be like the Simpsons and how and I can just predict it before it happens. <laughs> right? Like watch. We we can go we can go over to this to this igloo and there's going to be no basement. Just watch. <laughs> I mean I mean I can technically tell if there is a basement just because we can see it from under here. But watch. See? Told you. I told you, no igloo, or no basement. <laughs> I don't know what the chances are for an igloo, or for the basement to spawn with the igloo. I don't know what the percent chance is, but I don't normally find those, a lot of those ones where you can find that underground basement with the villager and the weakness and the golden apple, or the weakness potion and the golden apple. Hey, Fox. Don't mind me, I'm just passing by. I would really like to get out of the snowy biome. <laughs> thankfully, thankfully there's no bar that tells you when you're cold or when you're really hot because that would be a problem, <laughs> right, where you would accidentally freeze to death. Where you can act, where you can freeze. Not counting being trapped in the um, powdered snow, but you know what I mean. And the only way to not freeze to death is to get the letter armor. Is that another village over there? Feel that could be another village. Yeah, that looks like another village. Like a different village. But still a village overall. I'll go over to this village too. See what they have to provide. I mean, yeah, we don't have a very good spawn. Or good spawn point. But 
Still, it's not terrible, I would say. Okay, this one actually has carrots. Yeah, I'll take this, though. It might as well... Oh, okay, we, we have reached the end of what it looks. I hit that rabbit. I'm so glad it's not a killer rabbit, though. I don't even think those are in Bedrock. I don't even think those are in the Bedrock version. The killer rabbits. Or they may have been a remote feature. I can't remember. Okay, we're gonna starve to death if I don't do something. I know I'm eating raw pork chops again, but... <laughs> Oh. Okay, I'm sorry to whoever's house this was. But I really did not want to starve. <laughs> that was not my plan. My plan was not to starve. I know I got way more furnaces than I really, I really do need, but... Hey. What can you do, though? Okay, here's another iron golem. Probably gonna have to be risky again. I mean, sometimes in life, you're gonna have to take right risk. Right? Sometimes you're just gonna have to take risk. People should know that. Please don't be able to hit me. I really hope he's not able to hit me up here. Any other iron golems nearby? Just want to make sure. I just wanted to make sure before I... Okay, this villager house is not safe. It goes completely into a cave. So if you don't mind, I'll actually block that up. Here, I'll go ahead and make some sears, too, while I'm at it. Yeah, I'll go ahead and make some sears, too. I mean, hey. Better than any, better than nothing, right? Let me see what's at these other villager houses right quick. So I feel like I have not explored these ones up here. I explored all the ones down here, but what about up here? Again, I'm going to take the other composter. Is there anything up here? Any other villager houses up here that I should be aware of? Let me look. Uh, bait route. I mean, I don't really eat bait route. But I'll take it, though. At least I'll take the seeds. And you know what? There. Now, nobody would probably notice the difference. Wouldn't you say? I don't think anybody would even notice the difference that their, that their bait route is gone. I mean, they shouldn't know. They shouldn't be able to tell. I wouldn't think they'd be able to tell. Okay, there's another one up there. Oh, 
Oh, there's more up here, actually. And hey, we found more bait rope. Like I mentioned before, I can just leave the bait rope here. Oh, yes. A free smithing table. I'll take these, thank you. And I'll take this cartography table too. I doubt there's anything in this house, but I'll just see. Okay, there's another furnace, but I'll get that. Okay, so I got nine furnaces. This village actually helped me. But finally, we're leaving the snow. Finally. Finally, though. I feel like we're gonna we're gonna have to swim. Or make a boat. I feel like we're gonna have to craft a boat so we can get across. Unless if there's some other land nearby, which I don't believe that there would be. Yeah, our inventory is already full. I'm so sorry, chicken, but it's either me and you, me or you, buddy. It's either me or you, buddy. Same thing to you, pigs. I hate to do this to you, but it's either you or me. I mean, I gotta. I have to be honest, though. Right? I gotta be honest with the pig, with them. It's gonna. It has to be either me or them. It can't be. It can't be only one. Okay, I thought I saw a pig. Okay, yeah, I feel like just going this way is probably going to lead us back to more snow. <laughs> I feel like going this direction is maybe going to lead us back to some more snow. Okay, we're gonna just throw something away. The cook or the raw chicken. I'll throw the raw chicken away. I don't I don't think I would even need it right now. Cause I got other food. Hey, it's one of the new dogs. The new the new dog type, I should say. It's one of the new dog types. We'll say what's up of we'll say what's across here. Coming across some mega taiga, aren't we? I'm 
I mean, I don't hate Mega Tigers. I don't hate Mega Tigers, but especially how tall they are, it's easy to get lost to try to figure out where you're going. But it's got a good, pretty cool point here, though, that I may actually decide to build our house set. Yeah, it's got a pretty cool view here. I mean, it's not, I mean, not exactly in the snow because it's across there, but still. Yeah, this would, this looks nice. I think this will work. I think this will work. I'm going to make some chests just so I can put the stuff I don't need right now in. I mean, if I... I technically wouldn't need spruce saplings since we're surrounded by spruce, but it's fine. I'm just going to leave that smelting. I mean, I could get, I could place this here too and divide the coal to cook both, smelt both of them. So, I'm going to place my bed right here. Go ahead and set my spawn point. Go ahead and make a sealed. Make an iron axe. Then an iron shovel. I feel like this is going to be a really good area. I'll go ahead and might as well go ahead and smelt this copper rock while I'm at it. Oh, it should let us sleep now. It just <laughs> should let us be able to sleep now. There we go. There we go. All right. I think I'm all set for us to build the house. Well, one of these trees should be good. Normally, I don't like these types of trees where they're absolutely huge, but for us needing a lot of wood, this this will do. I may have to stack up to get some. Gonna have to stack up some more. Man, this tree goes high. <laughs> I mean, hey, more wood. I think we finally about reached the end point of this tree. Yeah, this tree is huge. OK, 
Okay, we can now head down. About gave us a stack and not so far from two stacks from one tree. Okay, got lots of wood here. Okay, so start here, and do two, two, one, two, two. This is obviously where the door is going to be. Two. Same thing right here. Again, starting out with the outline. Starting with the outline of how it's going to be. Just to make it safer for us, I'm going to do it like this. Okay, gonna start out like that. Just so I can go ahead and place the torches too. Get some of the cobble or coal from in there from the smoker just so I can do that. 
I'll just turn all of those into wood planks. I'm going to make some ladders. There you go. Just in case that we'll be able to get up and down. For when we go up, of what I mean. Right. Gonna go in here, go across. My iron axe is just gonna break. go too far. starting to get dark again. Okay, that was just a wolf. It's fine, it was just a wolf. Okay, that's a drown. I'm going to light up the area a bit. Yeah, I'm going to light up the area a bit. You know, just again, light up the area. Of course, there has to be a turtle in my house. we have thankfully we're surrounded by sand so glass definitely isn't 
then it'll be a problem. Gonna fill that part in in the middle. Go ahead and get some sand. Yeah, definitely gonna have to get those windows made just so the turtles will keep or not keep coming in trying to get into my house just put those in there start smelting the glass Go ahead and put the ladder right there. Like I mentioned, my axe is going to break. I just knew this axe wasn't going to last long. I just really knew this axe was not going to last long. Hello, wolf. Another different of the different type of wolf. gonna put these in here I don't know I, yeah I won't do I'm not gonna do glass panes I know if I did, made glass panes it would give us more but I won't do glass panes I, just, I won't do glass panes I need to get some more iron. I'm going to put these on hold for a bit. Better take a furnace with me and make another crafting table. I'll leave this crafting table here, but I'll craft another one to take with me. 
I'll just leave these smelting while we go. But again, I need more iron. Not only for a better axe, but just so obviously I'd have more iron. Is it just me though? But I feel like the durability on the tools go faster. Or, you know, when it comes to before it breaks. I feel like it goes fast. I feel like that goes faster when it comes to on hardcore mode. That's just me though. I really just need the fetters. Yeah, I really just need the fetters from the chickens, at least right now. Of course, I will eventually start to get the eggs, but right now, definitely fetters. Probably should have taken a screenshot of the coordinates of where our house is. That definitely would have been smart to do. We know, we know this area, or we know what this means right here. Everybody knows what this area means. have to try to be careful when it comes to our food. Oh, village. Maybe this village can actually help me when it comes to better food. I was going to say, where'd that pig go that I was hitting? It's right there. Oh, look what just spawned. A pink shape. Those are rare. Those are rare to spawn by itself. Pink shapes. That is definitely something I don't stumble, that I don't come across often. Definitely not. I definitely don't come across and um you know, I definitely don't come across and pink shapes that spawn by itself very much. I definitely don't. Those are not common. I mean we got some piece of armor. I mean, it's not the greatest, but, hey. We at least got something, right? Oh, at least take the boots. I won't, I won't be mad about the boots. And I will get this grindstone. Well, there goes my axe. <laughs> there goes my axe. I just knew it wasn't going to take long until my axe broke. And it's starting to get nighttime too. And I'm still not going to fight any monsters. I shouldn't be scared though, right? It's like I shouldn't be scared, but when you're in hardcore mode, things are a lot different. When you're in hardcore mode, things are a lot different. Because again, you you just can't die. You just cannot afford to die here.
I'm sorry, villager, but I need your bed. <laughs> I need your bed. I'm sorry. I just need your bed. Another wolf? Look. Another of the new wolf types right here. I like these new wolf types that are coming in 1.21. It's about time, too, that they add new wolf types. Right? We've had the regular default wolf for so long, and now we're getting different looking types of ones. And, of course, they're the same model of course but again different cool textures on them this village is actually not disappointing me I'm surprised to say that it's actually not disappointing me You would believe, you would think that, wouldn't you? But no, it's actually helping me quite a bit here. I mean, I, I haven't found any iron. I mean, I found an iron golem, but I kind of don't want to kill iron golems. I don't really want to try to kill any of the iron golems. Is this a blacksmith? Oh, I thought it was a blacksmith. Never mind. Yeah, I thought it was a blacksmith. I thought it was a blacksmith. I'll take these. I feel like I've pretty much gotten everything in this village. I don't even know where that iron golem went. Or if it's even still alive. <laughs> right? Okay, there it is. Because I was going to say, there could be a chance that that iron golem isn't even alive still. Because it could have gone into some of these berry buses. Could have accidentally get poked by these berry buses and died like that. Oh, I can't reach it. <laughs> I just need to be careful, though. I mean, if I have to kill the iron golems, then... Come on. If I just go over to the water... Surely he's not going to be able to follow me into the water, right? Surely. Yeah, if I, if I just stay in the water, because, again, iron golems can't swim, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure they just drown or sank to the bottom. Yeah, I'm pretty sure iron golems just sank down to the bottom. They don't, they can't swim. I mean, you can't blame them, right? They're, they They would weigh a ton. <laughs> They'll weigh a ton. Can't really blame the iron golems for not losing any weight. I just made the wrong thing. I made a pickaxe and not an axe. <laughs> I mean, at least I got another pickaxe, but I really wanted an axe. Like just a regular axe. Yeah, that really does stink. 
No, it really does stink. It, it really, really, really does stink. <laughs> I mean, if I could still find a, a cave, like I mentioned, then we could probably still have hope. Maybe we can still have hope here. You know? Don't want chicken. Doesn't the compass point towards your bed or where your spawn point is? I'm pretty sure it does. Is that a pillager? Yep, that's a pillager outpost. I mean, do you see me going over to that pillager outpost? No. No. I'm not going over to that pillager outpost. I'm not crazy. I'm not going to risk this world on going to the pillager outpost that most likely probably won't have any good things in it. I mean, it could, but, you know, there could be a chance. And I'm just not ready. I don't have any good things to help me. I would like to not take that risk. That's all I'm trying to say. I, w I wouldn't want to take that risk. Oh, that... <sighs> that baby sape just got murdered by that wolf. That poor baby sape getting murdered by a wolf. I mean, I saw a baby cat drown. It was trying to swim back up and it couldn't make it in time. Obviously, I'm referring to on the game, not in real life. Thankfully, not in real life. Thankfully, not in real life. I mean, if I have to, if I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to do it like this, aren't we? This thing goes pretty d these things go pretty deep though. Don't mind I get some coal.
And yeah, I, this could be absolutely risky, of course. Okay, we reached. Yeah. Can I just say of how risky this is looking? Can I be the first to say it? Wait. And we have we have just come across a trial spawner or a trial chamber. We're on the outside of a trial chamber. <laughs> We're on the outside of a trial chamber here. Yes, there's water down there. But you know what's also down there? A spider. You know what? I don't... I, I'm not sure of how I'm gonna... approach it like this. I thought I was diamonds for a sec. Is this dangerous? Yes. Yes, it is extremely dangerous. This is extremely dangerous. I can go ahead and say it right now. It is absolutely extremely dangerous. Either this is another trial spawner or trial chamber or this could be part of the exact same one. Okay, I found iron. <laughs> that Enderman just had the spawn there, didn't it? <laughs> Thankfully, I didn't look at it, but that Enderman just had the spawn where... I could accidentally look at it.
going to protect myself in here while we do this. Tropical fish. An axe. Finally, got an axe. If I can get more spider eyes later. Don't worry about it right now. Got leggings. Now I just need a chest plate, and we'll be all set for iron armor. Go ahead and make another iron sword too, because I know I'm going to need it. And another iron shovel. How much is for a chest plate? I always forget. One, two, three, four. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight at least. So yeah, we got enough. We got enough. More puffer, or not puffer fish, more tropical fish. Just making sure if the coast is clear. armor. That's what I'm talking about. That's a good step.
Yeah, that is my cue to run. That is my cue to turn around. Yeah, I've pretty much gotten all the iron stuff that we need now. Still think it's pretty dangerous to go into here, though. Wouldn't you probably think? I mean, I could save the coordinates like I did before. Make sure that there's no mobs behind me. Just take a screenshot. Or take a picture. Take a picture so I on my phone so I'll have it, the coordinates saved. I don't have any arrows, so... Make it. Yeah. Made it. Can't tell if they're trying to soap me from all the way out there or what. another diamond. Ouch. Don't 
diamond sword. Look at that, Dad. We got a diamond sword. Hardcore mode. I hope there wasn't. Okay. I knew I was an Enderman, but I was just hoping I didn't look at him in the eyes accidentally. Ooh, a golden apple. Got some lapis, too. Hey, Creeper. I mean, where would we be able to go? There's different directions we could take. So many paths that we could take. I did not expect that zombie there. I think I found a vault block. Yeah, I think I, I think I found a vault block. They smelt and heal up, of course.
Oh. It's the, um, what is it? The, you know, the one with the, the observe, the potion. What is it? You know, vault kind of block one. We can't activate without the potion. Can't activate it without the potion. And of course, we need a trial key in order to get it to it. Oh, good, a baby zombie. I know this is very risky, but hey, sometimes, you, like I mentioned before, you just gotta take risk. Oh, this guy's come out with a shovel. <laughs> How scary. How scary. An iron shovel versus a diamond sword. <laughs> How scary is that? There's still some zombies standing somewhere. There might be. Okay, I got plenty of berries back home, so I can just do that, put those away. I feel like blast furnaces I'm fine with. I can make another grindstone. Just put those away. Too bad I left my copper back at home. Oh, I got a trial key. I got a trial key. I see a zombie down there, but I see, yeah, I see some zombies down here. I don't know if they're part of the whole spawners. Oh, they are. And both of them gave us a trial key. <laughs> both of them gave us a trial key. Wow. I did not expect for both of them to drop a trial key. jump into the water. Yeah, okay, make sure to break the pots so you can get some loot.
Right, that actually gave me the actual pot part back. Ooh, got another decorative part, decorative pot shard. What is this? I never noticed glass here before. Yeah, I never noticed glass parts here. What's that mean? I mean, it could be just for decoration. But I never noticed that before. That's pretty cool. That must be something new that they added for it. If so, that's Again, pretty cool. I'm just gonna have to put away pork chops. Another chest. Ooh, strength. More potions. That spawned something. I heard something spawn. Like these. It's hard to tell exactly. Okay, these are not the vault blocks. Okay. I need to go up there. Good strays are here. Slowness. Okay, going back in. just gave us glow berries there. Okay, how long did it does it okay, it's just two minutes. Yeah, I know this is risking all the way.
So how long is it? Okay, just 30 seconds there. Oh, there's a lot. Don't need these bows. Don't need those slowness arrows. Okay, head back down. I feel like I'm doing pretty okay here. So what blocks are these though? That gold armor, I say, that better not be.
Oh, these are the vault blocks, right? Can't, can't use the key. Or maybe I need the potion to get those. Yeah, maybe I need the potion. Obviously, this is a potion one. We're going to need the potions. The, again, I can't remember the name of it, but you know the potion, what I'm talking about. Because again, the troll key won't work there. What's keeping this one from not being activated, though? That's what I'm curious. What's keeping this one from not being activated? There's clearly something that's keeping it from not... That one for not being activated. Same thing goes for these as well. Because these trial keys are definitely not doing any good right here. Pretty crazy of me, right? Wait. An amethyst geode managed to spawn inside a trial chamber. Wow. Now how how often would you be able to see that? Y'all tell me that. How often do y'all... Again, I can't activate that either. There's a lot of days that I just can't activate. Oh, that's a breeze. Hi. Yeah, that is a braze. <laughs> that is a braze. Oh no.
That was close. I'm not gonna lie about that. That was actually very close. hair down. Oh, hi. Found the braze. I just got an emerald block. <laughs> like I mentioned. Like I mentioned, I found the braze. it out. I actually took out a braze in hardcore. So we got some braze rods. Managed to get some braze rods here. Home. Yeah, I got a I got a freaking block of emerald. I got a freaking block of emerald here. Got it. Okay, took out another one. I took out another braze.
Why so many baby zombies? Right, that's what I want to know. Why so many baby zombies? Why can't there just be like regular sized zombies <laughs> that spawn here? Like all of them don't need to be. Um, not all of them need to be <laughs> baby zombies. You know what I mean? Not all of them need to be baby zombies. All I need is a heavy core. All I need is a heavy core, and I'm able to make the mace. <laughs> but you know how the mace is going to be kind of tough to get in hardcore mode, right? I can guarantee you it's going to probably be pretty tough to get in hardcore mode. Is there even a breeze spawner in this area? I know there are zombie spawners because we kept getting attacked. Oh, there's strays. Like we saw enough of strays, right? Or like we didn't see enough of the strays. Right? Like we didn't like we didn't get enough of the strays. <laughs> what potion did it give us? Ooh, regeneration. Yeah, that's something I would take. That's something I'll actually take, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I didn't see a brace spawner anywhere. It may have not have been in this room, to be honest. It may have not have been in this room. Can it, could it have been back inside here? I mean, it could have been back in... Could have been back inside here somewhere. Oh, I get it. This is like a parkour section. Okay. Yeah, I get it. This is like a parkour section. I wasn't sure what that meant before, but I understand it now. Yeah, this must have been the breeze spawner. I, I hope there wasn't anything important in there that I didn't miss out on. Yeah, this room looks pretty clear. Ah. Here's an ominous one. Is that still... I need to try to remember how to get the ominous bottle.
I gotta figure out how to get it. I think it has something to do with raids. I gotta figure out exactly how I would get the ominous bottle. Of course I would need an ominous key. I mean there's an ominous bottle in there. But of course, I need to find a way to get, because again, all I need is a heavy core. All I need is a heavy core, and then I'll be able to make an ominous, or a mace. Then I'll be able to make the mace. I feel like there's more of this place that I have not explored yet. But also, I've pretty much survived a lot of this place, though. You know? I managed to survive a lot of this place. arrows do the trial key do these trial keys not work because I know that's how you would get them or is that a bug or something I know this is how you use the you use the troll keys for yeah you use the troll keys on the vault I am confused. <laughs> I am confused, though. Surely they work. They would need to work in hardcore, right? Surely, because it's still survival. make these into bricks. I 
Again, you hear an unlocking sound, but nothing happens. It's confusing. Don't worry. We will get the mace eventually. <laughs> we will get the mace eventually. The mace will be ours. And I saw the heavy core in there too. That's taunting. <laughs> it's taunting. I see the heavy core inside, but I can't get to it. <laughs> or I can't get it because I I need to get I'm gonna take another screenshot of the coordinates because I know I'm gonna come back to this place. Obviously. I am gonna come back to this place. I am gonna be coming back to this place when I, especially when I do find out what I need to do. Thankfully, these are just zombies, though. Got an emerald. Got another trial key. Like, I need more trial keys since I'm not able to use the ones that I have. <laughs> you know? If I break them, which I don't even want to try to break them, because if I try to break them, you wouldn't be able to even get them back anyway. There's really no point trying to break them. I'm gonna, fi I'm gonna come back and figure it out. But I am. I'm gonna figure it out. <laughs> of what I need to do, especially to get the ominous effect, at least in the ominous bottle in survival. I don't trust you, creeper. <laughs> Again, it's just activating though. Again, all you can just do is just hear the unlocking sound. I will be back for you, Trial Chamber. I am gonna come back to you. I promise you that. I am going to come back to you. <laughs> I will be back for this trial chamber. Right now, we're going to now focus on getting home. Again, we got the braze rods that we need. I got the braze rods that I need. Yeah, my armor pretty much got really beaten through that trial chamber.
it got worn out from that trial chamber. Okay, we came back to the to this area. I don't trust this creeper. I just did not trust that creeper there. So glad there's water right there. be back trial chamber I will be back eventually I'm going to remember where you are funny how it how the whole going into the cave or for trying to find a cave was just to find iron and I got a diamond sword an enchanted bow and we went through a troll chamber most likely not all of it but at least a good portion of it and we got seven trial keys Okay, finally got back some torches. I finally got some torches again.
Oh no. No. Heck no. Not phantoms. Not now. Again, I didn't save coordinates to where my house was. Ugh. And now we got phantoms chasing us. I didn't bring a bed with me. Ugh. Sweet daytime. Sweet, sweet daytime. Oh. I was not expecting phantoms. <laughs> that was the least thing that I was not expecting. That was the one thing I was definitely not expecting. But now I gotta try to figure out where my... Gotta remember the direction of where my house was. I actually got some bones here. I got one of the new wolf types. I tamed one of the new wolves. Still can't believe I survived the trial chamber in hardcore mode. It's crazy. The bad thing about the mega the mega tigers is everywhere looks the same. Right. Every everywhere looks the same. When you're in the Mega Tigers, everything looks the same. I know, I know our house was at an island. Or, not exact an island, but you know, it was like... And of course it was surrounded by water. Well, everywhere is surrounded by water, but you know what I mean. Okay, I really hope my dogs don't try to teleport while I just look around. So I need to figure out where I am. Again, everywhere looks the same. All over looks the same. That seems, uh, that seems to be moving away from the Mega Taiga, what it seems. And I know it was somewhat in, but close to the Mega Taiga, where our house was. Probably an absolute bad idea that I built my house towards an area of the Mega Taigas. Right? Probably an absolute horrible idea. 
next time, I'm gonna make sure I have the coordinates saved to where my house is. I'm going to make sure I have coordinates to where the house is. So, something like this won't happen again. Are dogs still following me? They are. I'll make sure to name them eventually. I don't remember this area a bit, though. You know, I don't really remember that. Did I be panicking? I don't know. Because all I remember also is that there was some snow too. There was some snow. I'll probably just make my way back home off screen, though. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably what I'll do. Because I'm not sure how long it's going to take me to get back home. So, yeah, I'll just... I'll just continue making my way back home off screen. And by the next part, we'll be back home. And I'll have the coordinates saved. <laughs> but, yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed like and subscribe to tell. Oh no, where's my dogs? Oh no, where is my dogs? Where are my dogs at? Probably gonna have to walk around. They're not teleporting like I want them to. Yeah, I'd like to know what y'all think. Click on the next one.